Hello and welcome to a brand new series of tutorials for FXpansion's Strobe 2. Strobe 2 is our brand new amazing virtual analog modeled synthesizer. In this tutorial I'm going to take you through a general overview of Strobe 2 just to give you some idea of what it can do. We'll go into more detail in future tutorials. So here we're looking at the main interface. On the left hand side there's a browser and this is where we browse for presets. If you can't see the browser, simply click the browser button in the top tab bar here. The browser can be hidden for when you just want to concentrate on sound design. Within the browser, we can look for specific types of presets, maybe just bases. We can also sort presets by the preset author. And there's also an easy favoriting system. Just click on the star on the right hand side to any preset and it will appear in your favorites list. Strobe 2 comes with over 900 presets, so there's masses to keep you busy. Moving over to the main section here, we can see that we're currently on the synth page. There are three tabs to Strobe 2, the arpeggiator, the synth and the effects. Up at the top here we have the randomizer and the quick presets list. I'll come back to those shortly. And then here we have what we call Transmod. Transmod is our modulation system. You'll see 16 slots here. In each slot you can pick a modulation source. This can be anything from velocity, modulation wheels, LFOs, envelopes, etc. up to some very sophisticated things like using Unison as a modulation source. And with a mod slot selected, we can apply modulation to just about any parameter using the parameter itself. These heavy rings around each knob allow us to apply positive or negative modulation to that parameter. Sliders work in a very similar way. So you can see that Transmod is a very powerful system which allows you to apply one source to any number of destinations. Down at the bottom here we have some global controls. This includes the MIDI Learn system and probably most importantly the Performance 1 and Performance 2 controls. In all the factory presets these performance controls have been assigned to change the sound in some way and the assumption is that you will use Performance 1 for the mod wheel and Performance 2 for aftertouch. However, these can be reassigned any way you like. Just click on the MIDI Learn button here, click on a control and move something on your MIDI controller. Here I'm moving my modulation wheel. In this way you can remap these two controllers to anything that suits your style of playing. Let's look in a little more detail at the synth itself. Traditionally, Strobe had its roots in one oscillator classic synths like say the Roland SH-101 and to some extent that's still true. Strobe 2 uses a single oscillator with a sub oscillator, noise source, voltage controlled filter and amplifier. So the top row here is your audio signal path. Then the second row here represents your modulation sources. We have a dual LFO, ramp source, some more sophisticated source here including Euclidean curves and various zone remapping systems. I'll come to those in another tutorial later. And then a modulation envelope and the amplitude envelope. So the synthesizer page itself is very easy to understand. But although the synth is based on a one oscillator classic, it can actually do a whole lot more. For example, you can stack and detune the oscillator to make multiple copies of itself for a really rich sound. You can add multiple sub oscillator waveforms at different octaves to really thicken up the sound. Add some noise. 
noise. Pick from many different filter types. and add or remove overdrive to give a really crunchy overdriven sound. Strobe 2 isn't just a monophonic synthesizer. You can assign as many voices as you like using this parameter here. And you can also use the unison feature to create multiple stacks of the synth voices. Now this is accessed through the transmod system, so if I select the unison transmod slot we can see that it is affecting the fine pitch of each unison voice and also the panning. But this of course can be applied to anything using transmod, so we could have a different filter cutoff on each voice. Let's take a quick look at the randomizer. This XY pad in the top left corner allows you to randomize carefully selected parameters. I can move my mouse around the XY pad until I find a sound I like and then it will be stored in this menu here. And you can see the history of every random patch I've created. So if I create another one here... We can see that it's created another patch for me and I can go back and audition each one. The quick preset slots are a feature useful for performance. They allow you to load in up to eight presets or preset variations and then morph between them. If I select the first preset, which is this preset that I loaded originally, and then I'll copy it to this second slot here. So I've got a second copy of my preset. I'll now make some variations on this preset. Okay, that'll do. Now I can very quickly switch between the two presets. But even nicer is that I can increase this morph time parameter to allow me to morph between the two presets. Oh, <laughs> 
Let's take a quick look at the arpeggiator now. You can see here that this patch is using both the arpeggiator and the step sequencer. In the bottom half of the panel, I can change the arpeggiator settings. You'll notice that all these settings are transmodable. Then in the top half we've got the step sequencer. The step sequencer is a modulation source, so it appears as an option here under the mono menu. We can use that to affect synth parameters. You can see here it is changing the filter cutoff. Finally, for this quick overview, let's take a look at the effects page. There are six insert effect slots wired up in series. In each slot, you can load up any number of high quality effects. The effects, like almost anything in Strobe 2, can be modulated using Transmod. Here, I'll use my mod wheel to affect the size of the reverb in this first effect slot. Effects can easily be reordered using simple drag and drop. and they sound fantastic. So that's it for this brief overview of Strobe 2. Stay tuned and we'll be looking at a lot of these things in a lot more detail very soon.